So if you are a small business owner or a contractor who wants to save time on estimates, contracts, and invoices, then this Joist app is for you. I've been using it for about two years for my masonry business and it has saved me a ton of time. There's both a, a desktop version and an app that you can download on your iPhone or Android. Um, I usually use the app most often, but if I'm home in the office and I want to type a little bit easier, I use the desktop version. Um, they both link to each other, so you just got to sign in. Um, one version is free. There's also a pro version for $10 a month that has all the add-ons, which is well worth it in my opinion. So I'm just going to show you a quick video of how that works on both the desktop and the app. So here we go. Go to joyce.com to sign up. I'm going to click log in because I already have an account and I actually made an extra account that doesn't have all my customers info on it just so that's not exposed. Um, so this one's more generic. So the first thing you'd want to do is go to settings, put in your personal information. Um, you could set up payments for the customer to pay you through an estimate email that you sent them. Uh, they could do credit card or e-check if you would like. If you go to my company, you can add a logo that'll go on the top left of the estimates and invoices. Put in all your info, address, email. Preferences is really cool. You can put in custom messages that you will automatically be typed when you go to send an email. So for the estimate, it would say this. For the invoice, it would say thank you for your business. You can put on notifications so that if a client opens an email, you'll see that which is really nice because if they don't open one and it's been like a week and you know they were interested, then you could follow up and say, hey, maybe I got the wrong uh, email address or went to your spam. You can also see if the email wasn't delivered and you can see if the client signs the document, which they have the opportunity to do an e-signature um, online, which is really cool. They just type their name, hit OK, saves time compared to them uh, mailing you a signed contract. Homeowner financing can be offered. You can either turn that off or on, depending if you think it'll get you more jobs and if you're willing to be patient for them signing up for that. Uh, it's a third party thing. You don't have to do anything. I would just send them, give them a link to another company that will give them the financing. You could also set the documents to whatever payment terms you want. If you want to put a message in the footer, if you need to add taxes, and I really like this too, you can put a, a custom contract in if you have the pro version so that uh, when you go to send them the estimate, it'll have a contract on the bottom specifically for whatever job you're doing. And then if you wanna sign up for the QuickBooks Sync because you use QuickBooks, that's an additional charge, but you can do that. So after everything is put in, you go to Estimates, New Estimate, Add Client, and then it's just really plug and play at this point, which is really convenient. So let's say Joe Smith, Joe at email.com, phone number. Just going to put in random stuff. Oh, if I could type better. Okay, then you would hit add. It would automatically put the client's information up here. Then you can add whatever items you want, whether it be labor, materials, or just a flat rate. Um, so I'm gonna hit add, and then something I would put is like tuck point front steps. You know, let's put entire front steps for a little more specific. Oh, uh, tuck point entire front steps. And let's say that was $500. You could put a quantity if you want, but I'm just putting it as if it was a flat rate. So I'll leave that. Then you could go down. If they had a discount, you could put that in. 25% off. You know, then I'll automatically do the math and lower that. Request a deposit. Payment schedule if you want to add that. Turn on whether you'd like to receive e-check or credit card. Uh, you could add the option for you to have to sign the contract. You could type a note for your customer. If you have the pro version, you can add pictures. I usually add like a picture of whatever I'm working on so that they could see the damage, maybe if it's a chimney or something like that. 
And then you could also toggle on uh, adding the homeowner financing. I would hit save. And this is where it's really cool. It just puts it into a nice looking estimate for you. Your information's on the left, theirs is on the right. Estimate number. Um, you can choose whether you don't want to have the quantity shown. So you can hit display options, turn off rate, turn off quantity. And I'll just put the total there. This is what it'll look like to the customer. So then when you're ready to send it, you hit email. It has their information up here. You would hit send. But we are excited about the possibility of working for you. The email has been sent. Um, if you then go to estimates, you will see a picture of the closed envelope. That is means they haven't opened it yet. Um, once that envelope opens, it'll mean they opened it. If they sign it, there will be a little pen next to the email. Um, so you can see if they signed it. And then it'll also go in this approved column. Or it'll go into the de declined if you want to add a declined one there. But then let's say uh, you finish the job. You want to send them an invoice. You go back to estimates, generate invoice. Then you could send them that invoice. It'll say thank you for your business now because that was the custom message you put down there. Or you could add anything you want as well. You could choose if you want to send yourself a copy, if you want to send them the ability to accept the payment. I'm going to hit cancel for now. Once they pay you, you need to record payment. Uh, you could put you know, the amount they paid you, or if it was full, you'd hit full. Let's say they paid you with a check. You could add the check number. Hit add. The payment will be added. I'll hit close. And then down here on the invoice, it'll show check was paid 123 in full and then I could choose to send them that now thank you for your business it'll say payment receipt from my company so then after that um, invoices will be put in this invoice tab here if you were paid it'll show in the paid section and it'll show per month and then how much you made total which is really cool too it'll just have everything recorded for you your clients will be saved in the client tab. All their info will be on the right. Um, all your items will be saved. And that's pretty much it. And that's everything you'll need to send estimates, contracts, and invoices through this app. So that is the desktop version. Now I'm going to show you really quickly what the app version looks like on my iPhone. So here's that. My phone out now. And I'm going to open up the Joist app to show you how that looks. Starts with the estimates tab. It has pending, approved, and declined estimates. The approved are the signed ones. So if I go into pending ones, click Joe Smith here, and I click more and sign, they can actually sign the document right on here and save it. And then you'll see you get a notification that they signed the estimate. So I'm going to move this back over. Um, then if you sign, they signed it, you did the job, you could click Invoice at the top of here. And it'll send it over to the Invoice tab, which is the next one. It shows active and paid ones. Uh, if I click on this active one and I got paid for the job, I'll click Payments up on top, New, Fool, say they paid me in cash, Save. Then I'll automatically move that from the Active section to the Paid section. And if you go to the Paid Invoices, It'll show you by month uh, who paid you and for how much. If I go to clients, it shows the list of all the different clients and all their information if I need it for the future. If I click on activity, which is the next tab, uh, it'll show anyone who signed the documents, if they opened any, um, or if, they, uh, if I sent any to them. If I go to the more section, that's where I can customize anything, change any of the settings, or do anything uh, I need to do on that end. So that's basically it. The app version is very similar to the desktop. It's even easier to use. Uh, the only difference is really that you'll have to type with the keyboard on your phone rather than the ease of typing on your computer. But this you can take anywhere and it saves so many things in it that it's just very convenient to use. So that's about all I have. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Feel free to like and subscribe or watch any of my other videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.